I don't like Sasquatch in the morning. I don't like Sasquatch at night. I don't like Bigfoot jumping on me all night long or in the morning. I don't care if they have mistletoe. I'm not going to kiss no female Sasquatch. No female Bigfoot's going to get me. Oh, hello there. I'm Garrison. And you're not. And this is my iPod vlog number three for 2017. Today is January 16th. 2017 and I'm in 1080p plus I'm in widescreen this time Ooh. today we're going to talk about civil rights explanation point civil rights explanation point because um today is in the United States of America Martin Luther King Jr. Day yes Monday January 16th 2017 is Martin Luther King Jr. Day so happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day to all Americans celebrating that day, the day when Martin Luther King Jr. is, is remembered as a civil rights leader who helped black people get equal rights and other minority groups, you know. Anyways, that's what civil rights are about. Civil rights are equal rights under law. And some people, uh, mostly Caucasians in the United States, think they're superior to other ethnic groups, which is stupid, because no one's superior to anybody else. Everybody's about the same, you know. Some people have strengths, some people have other strengths, you know. But I'm talking about under law, we're all equal. Whether you're a man or woman or whatever color you are, even your that's like saying redheaded people can't can't vote because they're redheaded. It's just stupid. But anyways, in the United States of America, we have civil rights. For everybody, I'll put my hair behind me because it's all, it's all like tangled up a little bit. Anyways, right now it's 3:20 p.m. Central Standard Time, and the weather's warm for some reason today, which is unusual for January. Anyways, it's Monday, <gasps> Monday, <gasps> Monday, and I am sleepy for some reason because there's nothing to do today. Cause it's Monday, but uh, pretty soon my brother Mark is gonna he's gonna walk my ride. <laughs> he's gonna ride. He's gonna ride a horse somewhere. No, he's gonna walk my dog Buster to the park for about an hour. Or so walk around the neighborhood and into the park and back, cause he needs exercise. Both my my dog Buster and my brother needs walking. Needs some exercise, cause they're they're both kind of in that condition when they exercise. And the reason why this is flopping around because I'm holding the, the iPod sideways in a, in its in its uh in its uh what do you call it protective case thingy, and the protective case thingy has a has a joint that goes like this and that. See, ah. but anyways, I'm in 1080p. Look at that. Oh, I'm in digital, completely digitized. I remember, I gotta remember to look at the camera and not the monitor because when I look at the monitor, it looks like I'm talking to someone over here. Hey, you. What you doing? <clears throat> I'm fine. Let's talk to uh, Doofus McDoofus. What do you feel like for this year? I feel that the year 2017 is going to be a great year. And what does uh, Cowboy McCowboy think? I think that uh, I'm missing a tooth now because you got rid of my bad tooth. And you need to cap the two front ones because then it'll look awesome. Yeehaw! Let's ride a horse into the set. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> civil rights are for everybody. Civil rights is the right to to uh, assemble, the right to protest peacefully, the right the freedom of speech and freedom of press. Uh, you know stuff like that, and not be oppressed by the government. You can do whatever you want. And also, the right to vote. And as long as you're 18 or over, and older, and, and, and the right to become president of the United States, as long as you're legally born in the United States, you haven't gone to another country, or you know you've been here for living in the United States for consecutive seven years, at least without going to a foreign country, and also you have to be 35 years old or older to be the United States, you know, president. And our new president is going to be Donald J. Trump. Donald John Trump. He is going to be inaugurated this Friday. On the 20th, it's Inauguration Day. So, yeah, that's going to be exciting because we're going to have a new president called Donald John Trump. <laughs> hey, 
Yeah. And some people say, oh, he's not my president. Well, if you're not your president, go to Canada. And get yourself a new president or some other country because they have plenty of presidents on other countries. In other countries, you know what I mean? Because if you're, in, you're in the United States of America. Whether you voted for the guy or not, Donald John Trump is your president. And he'll be officially the president of the United States on the 20th of January. And once he takes that oath of office, he is your president. He's my president. He's everybody's president as long as you're part of the United States. If you're not part of the United States and you're like in Canada or Australia or something, then he's not your president. You don't have to worry about it. But if you're in the United States of America and you're a legal citizen of the United States of America, he's your president. And you don't have to worry about being deported if you're not an illegal citizen. And if you're an illegal citizen but you came here before the age of 18, that you were brought here by your parents, you will probably have a better opportunity to become a U.S. citizen legally than someone else who just came over after the age of 18. Because first, Donald J. Trump, Donald J. Trump is going to deport illegal aliens who are here with a criminal, uh, you know, have criminal um, record, like like Obama did. Matter of fact, President Obama, Barack Obama, he deported more people than any other president before him in the history of the United States. So. If Donald John Trump deports more people than that, I'll be surprised, but he probably won't. First, he's going to get rid, try to get rid of 2 million illegals that are criminals, and then he's going to work on the other few million who are illegal, and he'll probably give them a chance to turn themselves in, because if you turn yourself in right now to uh, immigration, and you sign up for, for to become a legal citizen, you cannot be deported if you're on the list. You know, you're a resident alien, and you're here legally, and you have a work visa or whatever, and you sign up, and you want to become a citizen, saying, oh, uh, I, I was brought in the United States illegally, or I came here illegally a long years ago, I have a family, can I, you know, get, just get yourself a lawyer. Immigration will help you become a citizen of the United States. It's not that hard to become a citizen of the United States. I don't know why anybody's jumping over the border or going through the fence or under the wall or whatever, because we have a partial wall and have a partial fence between us and Mexico. When there's a, when there's a gate, just drive through, you can... If you come here legally, you can come here legally. No, no, we're not stopping you. And if you're here illegally, it's easy to become a citizen. Just turn yourself in. And make sure you have a lawyer. And say, I want, I need a lawyer. I want to become a U.S. citizen. And they will say, okay. And they will speak Spanish too, because that's what they do. And if you're from another country, besides Mexico or Central America or Central, South America, or whatever, they have other people speaking other languages too. They come, they'll help you become a legal citizen of the United States, no matter where you come from, because you cannot be deported if you are making an effort of becoming a citizen. If you're just here because you're an idiot and you just come over the border because you think that's fun, that's just dumb. If I went into a foreign country and said, "Hey, I want to, I don't want to be a citizen. I just want to sit around and do nothing," and I, oh. You know, I just ran into someone uh, that would deport me. If I ran over the board in Canada, they'll say, what are you doing here? Oh, I just want to work here. Because you want to become a U.S. citizen or a Canadian citizen? No, I'm a U.S. citizen. And then they'll just deport me back. Unless I want to be a Canadian citizen. And then they'll, then they'll probably put me on the list, but they'll still probably deport me first. And say, so you come back the right way and then sign up for, to be a Canadian citizen. If I went to Mexico and, and tried to live there without become a legal citizen, they'll deport me because Mexico deports people all the time. So does Canada. And every other country, if someone comes there illegally, they deport them unless they come in there as an immigrant or they escape from some country that, that's horrible, like a, a communist country like Cuba or China. We automatically help those people become U.S. citizens because um, they're, they're being oppressed. If you're being oppressed in your country, and then you come here, you could easily become a U.S. citizen. If, even if you're not being oppressed, you, it's so easy to become a U.S. citizen. All you can do is come here, sign up for a work visa, green card, uh, and then when that r runs out, you, you sign up and say, I, I want to become a U.S. citizen, and then you eventually become a U.S. citizen, and it's not that hard. So that's your civil rights. Everybody has a right to be a citizen of the United States of America. Anybody from any country. And they're all worried, oh, no, Donald, John Trump is going to deport me. Well, if you're not going to become a citizen and you don't want to make an effort to become a United States citizen, bye-bye, you're going to be deported. But see, they're probably not going to be deported. If you're going to make an effort, then you can stay. And anyways, this is Civil Rights Day. We're talking about Martin Luther King Jr. He went around with a bunch of other people and said that everybody's equal and they should be equal and they are equal in the eyes of the law and the eyes of God because no one's more equal than anybody else. You know, some people are like, 
Yeah, I, be, I believe everybody's equal except I'm more equal because I'm a white privileged person. <laughs> yeah, right. Or some black people even think, I'm black, so I, I've i been oppressed for 500 years, so I, I deserve more stuff than white people do. No, still not right. Because mm -mm. that's ridiculous. And some people think they're privileged because they're Jewish or Christian or something. No, you have the same rights in the United States as anybody else. No one's privileged in this country. Maybe some other countries, the dictatorships, you're privileged as long as you kiss up to the dictator. But we don't have a dictator, so don't worry about it. And besides, Donald Trump doesn't run the whole government. It's, the, the Congress does. There's a whole bunch of hundreds of people sitting there running the government. And there's only one president. And he all he could do is veto and make a few executive orders. But he can't deport people himself. It's the deportation, you know, the immigration department that does that, you know. And the border guards and everything else. All he wants to do is strengthen the wall that we have already, make it better, build a wall, and, and strengthen this part, part of it's going to be a fence, a better fence, whatever, and protect us from people illegally coming here with drugs and weapons and so forth, and not necessarily people coming here legally wanting work, because all you have to do is drive over the board and say, I'm here for work, and they'll give you, you know, sign for a work visa, and you can come anytime you want to. I don't see the point of anybody coming in here illegally, when you could easily come over the border legally, and, and come here for work. You know, there's no excuse. So anyways, happy Civil Rights Day. And I'm going to call this call. I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this. iPod vlog number three. Civil Rights. Goodbye. See you next time. Next week for iPod vlog number four. Where we're going to talk about entertainment. Yeah. On the 23rd. This is January 16th, 2017. I'm Gibson. You're not. Goodbye.